What's up guys, we're back with another book review. We're gonna be taking a look at Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I am sure a lot of you have heard about this book. Um, it's supposed to be like the number one personal finance book of all time. That's a little marketing gimmick here when it focuses eventually. Yes, there you go. There you go. Um, I really enjoyed reading this book. It's, it took me a while to read it, I guess, like 10 hours or something. Um, but it's probably the best finance book I've read so far, outside of maybe Tony Robbins' Master of the Money Game, I feel like that was what it was called. Um, it has everything covered except for like fees, basically, and that's what I feel like Tony Robbins' book brings into the pictures, like understanding fees and your returns when you're not in the market and why you should be in the market. So maybe those two books in combination are a really great read. Um, but yeah, this book, so yeah, why is it, why does it exist, right? So Robert Kiyosaki is, um, he's a very rich guy. He wants to help people get rich. Um, it's one of his businesses, right? Um, is like improving financial literacy. Um, so he decides to write this book. And this book is about a story about him and his best friend, Mike, and they, um, their two fathers. So it, the book starts out about... Um, there's this father who's like making uh, a really good salary. He has a PhD, a stable job, um, a house and kids, blah, blah. Then there's this other dude who has like no education, doesn't have a stable job, um, but has businesses and is kind of moving from one business to another or trying to find out different opportunities. And it kind of shows a juxtaposition in terms of like, you'd think that the guy who has a stable job, who has a great education, who has a high paying salary should be rich. And this other guy who's kind of the opposite of that should be the poor guy. And it's completely the reverse. Um, Robert Kiyosaki's dad is actually the poor guy with a PhD with a high paying job as a professor, as a tenant professor. And his friend Mike is the, his dad is the poor, like the rich dad. Um, who has all these businesses and these guys want to get rich so um, it's kind of like this book is about basically the rich dad and the poor dad contrasting their opinions and how they see money and what they do with their money so he'll give you the poor dad's opinion and how he looks at money how you should study how you should um, find a big company to work for get a stable job blah blah, blah. and then the other guy is uh, Mike's dad who's the rich dad and he gives you the advice of like start multiple businesses, experiment, um, work to learn, not so much to earn, blah, 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 all these different rules. And Robert Kiyosaki grows up with those rules and uses those rules to create a, a life of prosperity for himself. And that's where this book is, right? Um, yeah, every single chapter of this book I can agree with, except... For the first one, which is like the rich don't work for their money, the money works for them. I get what he's saying, like you have investments, the invest money makes more money and that money gets even more money. So he's showing you the power of compound interest and compounding. Um, so I don't, I think that's completely true. I'm not a hundred percent certain on like, the rich have to work for money. You have to make a lot of money, you know? Um, I guess he's just trying to say that you should invest, okay? Um, but it doesn't cover so much so well that the rich are trying to are getting rich because they're adding value so he's kind of this book is really focusing on the money aspect of it and not so much on the value aspect um, but the rest of the chapters are great like he tells you the importance of taxes how you should minimize them thinking about what you should be looking at for minimizing your taxes um, he shows you the importance of having a business running expenses through businesses um, working to learn not so much to earn i think that's a great lesson so my favorite two lessons are mind your own business that's like starting your own business so i have my own business i run all my expenses through that and i think that's a great tax savings for me and the other one is work to learn not to earn i work to learn and earn so i do both i don't know how much of learning i'm getting right now but i mean i think you just kind of plateau at certain places then you find a new opportunity you learn a lot plateau um, but I am in a more learning and earning stage, but in early in my career, and I've only been working for like three and a half years, so it's still early, but, um, I was actually just learning a lot and I wasn't earning as much. Um, 
and now I'm not learning as much but I'm earning much more so I'm trying to get the learning part right and I do that outside of work not only at work but also outside of work but yeah those are my two favorite chapters you're having your own business and um, working to learn not to earn because the learning is where you get the value and that's where you can start to then earn more money in the future right so yeah great book really good chapters on everything about money he just wants to improve your financial literacy and i think this is a fucking great booklet to get you there right um not the fastest read it's kind of interesting it isn't uh like a boring book like a lot of these finance books that i'm reading because um he does tell you about the story of him and his friend and how they're doing all these entrepreneurial ventures how they fail how they succeed uh the lessons they learn and translating that into um something meaningful or very relatable for you um, so i really enjoyed the book i'll definitely be reading this a lot more at the yeah i thought it was like a shitty book when i first like i knew i knew about this lo book long ago i mean yeah this guy was maybe on even on oprah or something like this guy is fucking this book is all the shit and uh i thought it was like this just this dude trying to get rich off selling a book you know um, but I really enjoyed this book. I'll definitely be reading it like two, three more times, probably in the next 10 years though. So, I mean, like I've learned all I need to, but it's a good reminder. So even if you know finance, even if you're doing really well, it's always good to just reread it. Um, so yeah, guys, take a look at this book. If you have read it, throw some comments down, tell me what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. Um, we can have a discussion over it. Um, yeah. Thank you, Robert Kiyosaki for writing this book. Um, yeah, I'll link up some resources in the description below. So take a look at that. And yeah, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Weekly book review videos, kind of about whatever I'm reading, right? So we'll see where it goes from there. But it's just like, I want to read books. I'll tell you guys about what I'm reading, what's good, what's not so good. And yeah, we'll see how it kind of evolves over time. Anyway, guys, take it easy. Cheers.